Please welcome Soul Superstar Alexander O'Neill. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Well, that Thank was you. A, a little blast from the past there. Yeah, even I was young once. <laughs> <laughs> now you're re-releasing uh, a lot of your old your old music. Are you, are you looking forward to performing those songs again? Yeah, we are. Actually, uh, they're re-releasing the new Taboo catalog. And, uh, you know, it's really great, you know, because I, I get a lot, of, a lot of my friends sometimes, they ask me, we can't get your music anymore, you know, and now they're re-releasing, so it's a good thing, and I'm just here promoting it, and along with other things that we're doing. Because they're releasing it on vinyl as well, aren't they? Yeah, now that that was that well, was cool. really amazing to me because, you know, I'll never forget my uh, my son when he first saw a vinyl record. You know, he, he brought <laughs> it to what me. It was. He brought it to me, and he said. Dad, this is the biggest CD I've ever seen. In my life, you know? yeah. And I was like, wow, you know, shows you how old I am. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got all your records on vinyl, and I still play them all on vinyl, actually. Mm, yeah. Do you? It just sounds better, yeah. yeah. Timeless sound as well. Just Are the you... great songs for at the end of the night, weren't they, when you started to do circles when you got off with somebody who used to call them <laughs> circles? <laughs> how do you feel about singing the songs again today? You know, does it, you, do you enjoy it, or does it worry you, the kind of pressure of... No, because, yeah. you know, I've been very, very blessed. God has been very good to me because it's, I often say the body belongs to Alex, but the voice belongs to God. So he's <laughs> taking very good care of me. And uh, it's fortunately that I can still sing the same songs in the same key. Wow. Most of the same songs, not all of them. I never would have known that 20-some years later that I would have set the bar too high for myself on my own songs, right? <laughs> so, but, um, no, we, we still, I still get a buzz out of mm. performing and I uh, love coming here to the UK and, and you're especially doing some gigs. You're doing some gigs here as well? Yes, uh, we also, uh, we're also performing this Friday and Saturday night at the Jazz Cafe. Jazz Cafe, great. So Camden Town, London. Is it, yeah, Camden is it true Town. that you didn't actually like the song Criticize when you first heard it? No, I didn't actually. You know, I, I kind of, uh, it was like... What is that? You know, it was okay, you know, and I co-wrote it with uh, one of the guys, extra members of the time, called Jelly Bean Johnson, and uh, it was just something, I was just writing stuff and making up stuff, and, and when he put it all together, I was like, okay, yeah, okay. It was probably my least favorite song on the whole album, oh. and turned out to be my biggest song on the whole album, mm. one of them anyway. Have any of your nine children, nine children? <laughs> <laughs> Have any of them followed you into the music business? Are they big fans of Dad's, Dad's songs? Well, they are big fans. Um, they haven't actually followed me into the music business because I've always encouraged them to be... I want them to be adults first. I want them to learn how it feels to have, be responsible for mm -hmm. their, their own selves. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have quite a few that are very talented, and they do. They're, they're, they're trying to get into music, but they haven't asked me for my help. So therefore... It's not something that I'm trying to encourage. Yeah. I would much rather encourage them to know what it feels like to not to be able to pay your rent uh, on time or to not to, or to know what it feels like to not to be mm. able to get a roll of toilet paper yeah. or something, it's you not, know. Yeah. So, I would, yeah, so I, would, I would much rather for them to get some foundation. And the music thing, if it's destined from God that, that they get it, then it'll happen. Mm -hmm. well, and you're working on two new albums, is that right? Two new albums right Two now. new albums? Yeah, I'm looking at, uh, this is my, I'm um, working on an R&B album, which could possibly be my last R&B album, because, you know, I, now I see when, when artists get older <laughs> that they're really not interested in doing all that recording and stuff, you know. <laughs> but, so uh, what will you do? What's, what, where are you going? What are you going well, on Well, I'm going to gonna still record. I always record it, just my, I just might move shift from all of the R and B albums because it's like I've been there, did that, done that. You're not gonna yeah. start doing all that do 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 oh, all no, that. I love do the do 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 <laughs> thing. A big band, a nice big band. But that's yeah. what I'm, that's what I'm working. I'm working on the R and B album and I'm also working on a big band album. Ooh, it's something great. that I've wanted to do in my career for quite some time. I'm gonna be doing songs like Mel to May, Frank Sinatra, uh, you know, uh, Nat King Cole, all types of songs. Fantastic. We're gonna, the music is gonna be funky. But the, the, the lyrics will still be so you can know that that's the song. Yeah. Oh, well, the, your, your album is going to be re-released, double CD, on the 8th of April. It's lovely to have you on the show. Thank Alexander you for having Neal, me. Everyone. Thank Thank you. You.
is uh, competition time again, and if your bank balance needs a boost, then stay tuned as we are giving away a champagne cork popping prize this week of a £30,000 secret salary. <laughs> Take a look at this question to be in with a chance of winning. Which of the following is commonly said to bring good luck? A four leaf, a clover, B rose, C buttercup. Call 0904 161 1000. Calls cost no more than £1.54 pence from BT landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Text your answer A, B or C to 62345. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. You can also enter for free at the website. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at 11am on Monday the 20th. 25th of March will not be counted, but may still be charged. <laughs> Alexander O'Neill, he, he didn't want to leave, did he? He was having such a nice time. Uh, now, uh, Noel Gallagher has revealed that whilst on Russell Brand's stag do, he and a few friends placed bets in a sweepstake to guess how long Russell's marriage to Katy Perry would last. A bit rude. Uh, apparently, he, David Williams and David Baddiel, put a wager on when the couple would split. Noel himself obviously had little hope for Russell and Katy as he guessed uh, around the 14-month mark and he won the prize. But is it rude to speculate on the longevity of a friend's relationship? Mm. Well. 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 <laughs> well. My wedding is being sponsored by William Hill. <laughs> no, it's not. Stop it. It's not. <laughs> Take oh, your very joking. It's Paddy Power. <laughs> <laughs> um, well. You know, I know that there's been a lot of speculation about my current marriage, which is all great. And I'm only really bothered about the fact that my true friends and my family know exactly how much we love each other and it's all, it's all great. But obviously, if you're in the public eye, you're going to be subject to more, um, well... Speculation. Specu yeah. Well, speculation. Judgment. Judgment and, <clears throat> and abuse. And I am the trollinator at the moment. I have to throw that in. So it's in there. The online ones out because <laughs> they're getting on my nerves so much. But, uh, but yes, of course I have. But then again, I was in my, f I was in my first marriage when, when, when I married, you know, Tim, because we were quite different personalities and, and, and everything. Uh, there was so much speculation. And although nobody said it to my face, whenever we would have a little blip, people were very happy then to say, mm, I, told you, I told you it wouldn't last. And we were together for 24 years, which although we're not now, I still think that was a, you know, that was a, a good relationship and produced two great children. Mm. So what I, what I don't like, I mean, we are all guilty of a little bit of... A little bit of bitching and particularly if you read about someone or it's someone that you don't particularly like you are more likely to pop you know to say oh I don't think they'll be together long what I don't like though is the fact that the, the sort of comments that we're hearing that the lads did are sort of being celebrated as if it's a joke because although Katy Perry is a massive star I'm sure that she wouldn't think that that was very nice that people were having bets and wagers on yeah, how like long it's yeah, like, it's, like, it's, like it's a funny thing you know nobody knows what goes on behind closed doors ever 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 we all so. think it though no, don't worry. No. <laughs> no. I, I, I support it. If somebody I'm says something about my friends, I, I get really... You know, we've had a lot of flack, haven't we? Oh, too much, yeah. I, 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 and, and I know you both, and I know that it's all a load of rubbish, all the speculation, but I do... I mean, it is difficult when... Say, for example, not you guys, but I've had friends in the past that I've, I'm very fond of that have met somebody that I just know, because I know them well, isn't probably going to make them happy. Um, I mean, I know, and I know. But how it's not... do you know that, Lee? Well, I don't. Well, I just because when you know someone, you kind of. I don't want it not to work. I don't. You know, it's not that. Oh, I hope it doesn't work, and sure. all of that. It's just you worry about people you care about, and you don't want them to go headlong into a marriage or a situation with someone that you just can see another side to. Because sometimes people are blinded mm. by love, and as a good mate, you've got to, you know, stand there and and. Think it. But if this is grown the difference. Up. I don't. Well, I can't say it because I don't believe people really want to know. That's and people the shoot the messenger as well. That's yes. What happens yeah, they do. Absolutely. But also, I don't. And I don't think it's my place. Although I have strong feelings and I have about a certain friend, but I've never ever said anything. I. I I don't think it's my place to actually go up and say, I don't think you're going to be happy with this person because it's not for me to define happiness because happiness comes in all sorts of forms. I, know, I don't know what a good relationship is and what a bad relationship is. And also is. it might be, you know, you might... It might not work for you, but it could work for them. Yeah. You know, they have yeah. different definitions of happiness. Mm. And, and also, you have to bear in mind that some people might take what you've said and think, right, I'll show you, and stay together longer just to show they, they think this won't or last. Or plant the seed that it's, it's well, bad yeah. news and they start looking for bad things. Yeah. That's the other thing. I just think it's absolutely nobody else's blooming business. And I, it really upsets me when people do it. With anybody. <laughs> no. 
to say that to anybody because especially if people are getting married then they're grown-ups mm. and they've got to make their own decisions and they can make their own judgments and it's not up to anybody else to say it and you're right yeah well, you've had a lot of flack you've had a lot of people I'm sure especially on Twitter saying oh you'll give it five minutes or whatever actually when I met Mark I thought it would only last five minutes <laughs> but here we are five, five years, years later. down the line and you know people are probably still saying it well yeah. I'm not interested. Don't say it out loud because it's it's mean. It's nasty more than anything. It's a bit like telling... shut their mouth. No, I agree, and and it is. But the thing is, when you're in the public eye, it's even worse, isn't it? Well, but everybody's everybody judges everybody else all the time. They don't know yeah. anything. They really don't know what goes on behind closed no, they doors. Don't, they haven't yeah. got a clue. But everybody is now. Everyone's got an opinion. Everyone can write down what they think on Twitter, or on forums, mm. or in the Facebook most vicious or whatever. way possible. But and they don't know. So I'm going to go like. That up yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's break time now. We'll be back with the Saturdays in just a bit.